Now to developing news out of Jacksonville. One person is dead and the suspected shooter still on the run. Police are working to piece together the events of this homicide that happened last night. It happened at Johnson Park. Jessica Rank is joining us now live from Jacksonville with the latest on this. And Jessica, what have you been able to find out today? Yeah, Bob and Laura, there are still very few answers about what led up to the shooting here at Johnson Park in Jacksonville, and I think that's really what police are trying to determine today. We've been here all day in the neighborhoods, and we have seen those officers patrolling the area as they continue to work this scene. Swings are empty. The grounds still. Generally, if this area right here is quiet. Neighbors stand in shock after a childhood park turned into a crime scene. Yeah, it was at least 20 shots. This neighbor lives just down the street from Johnson Park. He didn't want to go on camera, but says he was in his room when he heard gunshots ring out. It sounded like fireworks because of the rapid, the popping. It was just a constant pop. Jacksonville police say 39-year-old Anthony Cassette was shot and killed at the park Monday night. Another person injured. I've never seen them block out roads like they did. Just after 7 p.m., this neighbor says he saw the flashing lights, police and ambulance rushing to the scene. We knew it was somebody injured and hurt. But when officers got there, all that remained were the two victims. The suspected shooter fleeing. Police now on the hunt for a gray SUV, possibly a Dodge Durango. It is a lot of young people that come through here, and it's no telling what they have going on. As police continue to dig for answers, neighbors wait, hoping for an end to all the violence. There's been more shootings uh, within the last past few months than it's been probably all year. Now, police are also asking neighbors in the area if you have some of those security cameras outside of your house. They're asking you to take a look back at those between the hours of 6.50 and 7.15 yesterday night to see if you may have caught that vehicle on camera. That's the very latest out here in Jacksonville. I'm Jessica Rank for KRK4 News.